Yes. Our loving and glorious Father, Lord God, you're the one who created the heaven and the earth. Yes. We glorify your name. We magnify your name, Father God. Yes. Lord, we thank you for this wonderful night, O Lord, that yes. you given to us. Be with us, O Father. Lord, as I stand, O Lord God, and Lord, uh, you're my strength, O oh God. You're the one to speak, O oh God. Lord, forgive me, O oh God, for all the sins that I've done, O oh Lord God. Cleanse me, O oh Lord God, so that I'm going to be a focus in you. Lord, um, as you said, O oh Lord God, that if we confess our sins, O oh Lord, you're faithful and just to forgive us, O oh Father God. Lord, uh, bless your word, O oh Father. May your word uh, will change our lives, O oh God. May your word will manifest in our life. Father God, Thank you. that there will be changes of Father. Lord, uh, we entrust everything to you the rest of the night. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Makakaw po na po tayo. Amen. Um, ang... Ang scripture natin ay mahanapan sa 2 Corinthians 13.1-6. At nung pinag-aralan ko itong scripture na to, itong verse na to, uh, merong pumasok sa natanong sa aking isipan. Uh, ang tanong is, paano natin masasabi na ang isang tao ay meron siyang merely head knowledge about uh, Jesus Christ or uh, a truly born again. A truly born again uh, meaning uh, he's, uh, meron siya yung heartfelt relationship sa ating Panginoon. So, uh, the Bible give us uh, a strong warrant that uh, we must uh, uh, have examine mm-hmm. ourselves. As we have read in uh, verse 5 of this, that uh, examine yourselves whether you be in faith. So, Examine meaning uh, to scrutinize, to try, to prove. Those are the uh, semi as synonyms of examine. So, bakit kailangan natin uh, magkaroon ng self-examination sa ating spiritual life? Uh, if we read in Matthew 7.20, it says there, by their fruits ye shall know them. So, by their fruits ye shall know them. Dun, dun sa mga fruits, ano ba yung mga fruits na yan? Yung mga, <coughs> gaya, oh, gaya sa Galatians 5.22, yung mga fruits. And if we read further in Matthew 7.21, may by Sino po yung 721? Ito, hindi lahat ng tumatawag sa akin, Panginoon, Panginoon, ay papasok sa kaharian ng langit, kundi yaon lamang sumusunod sa kalooban ng aking amang na sa langit. Uh, 721 to... Hanggang 20 pieces. 20... 23. 23. Okay. Uh, verse 22, Pagdating ng huling araw, marami ang magsasabi sa akin, Panginoon, nangaral po kami at na- nagpalayas ng mga demonyo at gumawa ng mga kababalaghan sa inyong pangalan. Verse 23, At sasabihin ko sa kanila, <coughs> kailan may hindi ko kayo naki- nakilala, lumayo kayo sa akin, mga mapaggawa ng masama. Okay. Uh, so, we need, kailangan talaga natin na magkaroon ng self- uh, examination. Na? By their fruits, you shall know them. So, tonight, meron tayong uh, pag-usapan na limang uh, evidence about uh, sa focus characters in Christ Jesus. So, that's and that's the title of the message for tonight. Oh. <coughs> <laughs> Iba yung napindot ko. Dito ka kasi. <laughs> Dun sa luna. Dun pala, kano ko.
Bro, bro. Okay. Uh, the five evidences of focus characters in Christ Jesus. Uh, next, next, sila nga, no? In verse 1, This is the third time I am coming to you. In the mouth of two or three witnesses, shall every word be established. Dito, si Apostle Paul, established niya yung church sa Corinthians. And in second and third time, na gusto niyang pumunta doon, pero hindi na siya nakapunta, so he make a letter reminding the Corinthian church. At uh, in the mouth of two or three witnesses shall every word be established. So kinote up niya itong verse na to dun sa Old Testament time sa Deuteronomy yung mga in the mouth of two or three witnesses. So uh, ang unang pag-usapan natin is the evidence of uh, fellowshipping life. The evidence of fellowshipping life. So I-compare natin yung Old Testament time sa New Testament times saka sa, sa, sa time natin ngayon. So, in Old Testament time, trials is strictly legal. Uh, two or three witnesses will establish a charge. Like, uh, ang magandang example dito is uh, gaya yung lesson natin last, uh, last Thursday, yung lesson kay si Shari, uh, it, uh, about the life of Stephen, uh, it requires two false witnesses para ma stone si Stephen to death. So that's the uh, good example of that. Two or three witnesses. And ang supporting verses nito is sa Deuteronomy 19 verse 15. Pakibasa <coughs> tayo. Yeah. <laughs> One witness is not enough to convict someone of a crime. At least two witnesses are necessary to prove that someone is guilty. Okay, another verse. Deuteronomy 17.6 On the testimony of two or three witnesses, a man shall be put to death, but no one shall be put to death on the testimony of only one witness. So, those are the two or three witnesses na kinote up ni, ni Apostle Paul. At in comparison sa New Testament time in the life of uh, Jesus sa direction ng ating Panginoon, sabi dito, New Testament time, direction, direction of our Savior, in Matthew 18.16, it says here, But if He will not listen to you, Take one or two other persons with you, so that every accusation may be upheld by the testimony of two or more witness. Before this verse, sabi dun sa Matthew 15, kapag daw yung kapatid mo is nagkasala sa sa'yo, uh, puntahan mo siya at sabihin mo yung fault. Let's say, uh, sinabi mo yung fault niya, so one and one talk sa, sa kapatid mo. Ngayon, pag nag siya sa'yo, then you gain your brother back. So, okay. Ngayon, uh, in verse 16, sabi dito, But if he will not listen to you, take one or two other persons with you. Anong ibig sabihin nun? Take one or two other persons with you. In our present time, sa ating Bible study, let's say, nagkagalit kami ni Brother Wendell. Ah, no, Brother Erwin. Amen. Okay? And <clears throat> sa atin, hindi natin may iwasan na nasasaktan natin yung kapatid natin through words or through deeds. Nagkakasala tayo. So, magandang iprang ka mo na sabihin mo na yung kasalanan niya. Ngayon, if he listens to you, di okay. Okay kayong yung dalawa. Ngayon, pag hindi siya nag-listen, take one or two other persons. Maybe in the absence of uh, Bispiras, yung okay. mga elders natin. <laughs> sila. In the absence of Brother Francis and Brother Ernest, wala sila. Uh, take one or two other persons. Uh, pwede mong puntaan si na Brother Wender or Brother Lito. Uh, hindi ko sinasabi na elder din sila, but uh, 
Ibig sabihin, they are uh, the, a leader. Uh, sila yung elder sa pananampalatay sa Diyos. Amen? <laughs> okay. Um, anong sabi nyo? Uh, so that every accusation may be upheld by the testimony of two or more witnesses. Okay. Two or more witnesses. The next one is uh, one verse ulit. Matthew 18, 19, 20. And I tell you more, whenever two of you on earth agree about anything you pray for. So, any, eh, whenever, sabi ng ating Panginoon Jesus, whenever two of you on earth uh, agree about anything, about anything kahit ano. Amen? Uh, sabi ng ating Panginoon, two of you pray together about anything na i-request nyo sa ating Panginoon. Ano ba nyo mga yan? Uh, ito ba'y trabaho? Uh, ito ba'y healing? Amen? Ito ba'y finances? Ang sabi ng ating Panginoon, uh, whatever anything you pray for, it will be done for you by my Father in heaven. Amen? Walang yung posibilis sa ating Panginoon. Ngayon, uh, naalala ko nung, nung nasa Japlia pa kami, when we pray together, may meron kami pinanalangin ng aring asawa doon sa Japlia. And as we start praying, uh, na, nung nagpipit na kami tapos nanalangin kami, uh, para na para akong nakalutang. And nung matapos ko mang mag-pray, sabi ko sa aking asawa, uh, third, para akong nakalutang ganina nagpipray tayo. So, ang fee, sinabi din niya, yun din daw naramdaman niya. So, para, than, para din daw siyang nakalutang. So, sabi sa salita ng Diyos, whenever two or three gathered in, in, his, in his name, nanda dun sa atin. So, God is with us whenever two of you agree together when, we, when you pray. And sa ating Bible study, we are more than two, we are more than three, and I believe God is with us. Amen. Amen. Uh, that is the first verse. In verse 2, I told you before and foretell you as if I were present the second time and being absent, now I write to them which her to for have seen and to all other that if I come again, I will not fail. Sabi ni Apostle for dito, I, I, in present or being absent. So, the second uh, evidence is the evidence of obedient life. Here, Apostle Paul, in present or being absent, he continue, he is obedient in the word of God. Amen? He is continuing sharing the word of God sa mga taga-Corinthians. He, is, he keep on reminding them sa mga, sa kanilang Paul. The word I will not spare here is yung sabi ng ating Sabi ni Apostle, I will not spare uh, sa kanyang pag, uh, pagbigkas ng mga salita sa, sa, kan, sa mga Tagaporintian Church. So, pangalawa, we must be keep on preaching and witnessing. Uh, I believe uh, our God brought us here in Dubai para uh, one way sa, sa, na ginagawa natin para makapag witness natin tayo is um, dinadala natin yung mga family, first sa ating families. So, kinukuha natin mga pamilya natin para yung nakilala natin Panginoon is may share din natin sa kanila. So, una sa ating pamilya, pangalawa sa ating mga kaibigan, katrabaho, and Ha, hindi lang sa ating mga katrabaho. Sabi dito, in present or being absent, there are many ways to witness the gospel of salvation. So, kahit, kahit, kahit ngayon, pwede tayong mag-share through internet, sa Facebook, sa sa text, kahit saan, di ba? Pwede na tayo mag, mag-email lang tayo sa mga ating mga kayo, kapatid, families. Amen? Um, at hindi lang yun, kahit sa mga 